Hello and welcome to Stearns. Today I would like to take this opportunity to show you the proper installation procedure for an 87,000 series brake. The following tools are required for today's installation. A 3 8 inch hex wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a 7 16 inch nut driver, Once you have these tools at hand, let's get started. Each box will contain a brake, a hub, and installation instructions. Step 1. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the two housing nuts. Then, remove the housing from the brake. You will notice a hardware bag. Please remove this. Depress the plunger until it contacts the solenoid. Pull the tie wrap to secure the plunger in place. Remove the three support plate screws. Remove the support plate assembly. Remove the pressure plate and all friction and stationary discs. Slide the hub onto the shaft and key to 1 8 inch from the motor face. Tighten the set screws. For a 5 16 inch drive set screw, tighten to 13 pound feet. For a 3 8 inch drive set screw, tighten to 24 pound feet. And for a 1 half inch set screw, tighten to 52 pound feet. Next, position the end plate on the motor. Tighten the mounting bolts to the torque supplied by the manufacturer according to their specs. Install friction disc. Be sure the disc moves freely. Next, install the pressure plate. Mount the support plate assembly. Using a 7 16 inch nut driver, tighten the mounting screws to 50 pound inches. Using a cutting tool, cut the wire tie. Route wires out of the internal or one of the two external wire outlets. Make sure wires are not in contact with moving parts or pinch points. The hardware kit includes one manual release nut and two external lead wire outlet plugs. Install the lead wire exit plug. Install the housing Tighten the housing nuts to 50 to 55 inch pounds using the flathead screwdriver. Finally, install the manual release knob. Thank you for watching.